Welcome to your Sunday School lesson for today. We're continuing to talk about the Sermon on the Mount, which is that really special talk that Jesus gave to a ton of people on a mountain or a hill. He preached to them and told them all this important stuff. So today we're learning that God wants us to do what we say. Jesus said it's important not to add qualifiers to our promises. A qualifier is saying something extra like, I swear on my mother's grave, or I swear on a chocolate bar, or I really mean it this time. So let's listen to what Jesus has to say about this in the Bible. The book of Matthew tells us this. It says, again, you've heard that it was said of those of old, you shall not swear falsely, but shall perform to the Lord what you have sworn. But I say to you, do not take an oath at all, either by heaven or for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city with a great king. And do not take an oath by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Hmm, what is Jesus saying? In Jesus' time, people would often make vows or promises where they would swear by God, and sometimes they would add silly things to swear by too. But that's not what Jesus says that we are supposed to do. In life, sometimes we make promises and we'll say things that we want to do, but we'll add extra words to show that we really, really mean it. So here's some examples. We might say, I really, really mean it this time. I cross my heart and I hope to die. I promise, or I pinky promise. Sometimes we add those things. Jesus had a different idea on how we can show what we really mean when we'll keep a promise. The Bible tells us this. It says, let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more, this comes from evil. So let what you're going to say be a yes or a no. God wants us to do what we say. If we always do what we say, people can trust our yes and our no we don't need to add extra words to show that we really mean it. Our actions show that we mean it. And by doing what we say, we'll show that we're faithful to our words. It, it's a reflection of God who always does what he says. God wants us to do what we say. It's easy for us to tell our parents, our friends, our teachers that we'll do something and then may we get distracted. But when we don't follow through with what we say that we're going to do, we end up needing to add qualifiers to our promises because we're not trustworthy. Instead, let's ask God to help us to work on making sure that our yes is a yes and our no's are no's and that we keep those words so that people can believe in us and trust in us. Let's say a prayer together. God, we want to say yes to you. We want to say yes to doing what we say we'll do. Help us to be trustworthy so people know that will do what we say. Thank you, God, that you promised to love us no matter what we do. Thank you, God, that you promised you'll always be with us, and you always are. Thank you, God, that you promised you'll always forgive us, and you always do. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, boys and girls. Have a great week. Bye.